Thousands of discoveries have been made on the International Space Station, from growing food in space, to breakthroughs in disease, to understanding the human body. With all that innovation, a low-tech experiment with pieces of wood kind of goes against the grain. Three types of wood were placed outside the Japanese module on the ISS for 10 months to test resilience. Scientists were astounded. The wood was so unchanged, they've started work on wooden satellites, the first to be launched this summer. They found magnolia wood fared the best, resistant to extreme temperatures, and in space there are no organisms to rot the wood or oxygen to burn it up. The wood has held up surprisingly well, which is just incredible. It sounds like something out of Star Wars. The Ewoks' primitive wooden weapons outperform the technologically advanced evil empire. But the Japanese have long appreciated the lasting properties of wood, producing temples that have stood for hundreds of years. It kind of makes sense that it would come from Japan, which has this really long-standing history of creating resilient wood structures and now expand that into space where they want to see not only can they build satellites from wood, but could they actually build full habitats. In addition to being made out of wood, what's remarkable is the satellite's diminutive size, just 10 centimeters cubed, you could hold it in your hand. And virtually all of the components are contained inside the satellite, including antennas that can be damaged on the outside. Because radio and electronic waves can pass through the wood, everything will work inside without interference as the little satellite orbits the Earth. Wooden CubeSats could be outfitted with magnetic sensors or environmental scanners. We've miniaturized so much technology and now we can launch it into space in these really, really small packages. Another feature of wood, it's a renewable resource, so there's always more where that came from. And unlike aluminum satellites that can leave a trail of environmentally hazardous metal re-entering the atmosphere, when a wooden satellite inevitably falls back to Earth, it should burn up entirely. Knock on wood. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.